Hey everyone, so despite being with AMD a few days ago, they gave us a 4 a.m. news announcement that we had to get up and do in 90 degrees in Taipei at 7 a.m. Uh, so this is the Radeon RX 480. I just got this information. We have the specs of the card, the price, and the release date. Before getting into that, all this coverage is brought to you by MSI and their new X99A Broadwell E motherboards, including the Gaming Pro Carbon. First off, it is a $200 card, the Radeon RX 480. They are not using the R9, R7 branding. And the RX 480 has these for specs, five teraflops. It has 36 compute units or CUs. It's running 256 gigabyte per second memory bandwidth, has eight gigabit per second data rate on the die for the GDDDR5 memory. So G5 memory as it is shortened is uh, maxes out at about eight gigabits per second and most cards in the mid range to high end do run that eight gigabit per second data rate. It has four or eight gigabytes of GDDR5 and we're not sure what the price is on the eight gigabytes or the four. We don't know if it's if it's different or not. Uh, the memory interface is 256 bits. There's a 150 watt TDP for Polaris 10 architecture, probably Polaris 10 anyway. Uh, the card is branded as a giant air quotes VR premium. I'm not quite sure uh, if, if I really care about that since every manufacturer is branding everything as VR ready now. It's got free sync support, DP 1.3 and 1.4 for uh, display port. It supports HDR on 1.4. Release date is June 29th and release price is $200. It is probably on Polaris 10 and we're unsure if the eight gigabyte model will be 250 or if they're all gonna be 200. Definitely four gigabyte will be the low $200 for the reference card though. Uh, and as far as the, the high end of Polaris, it looks like there's not gonna be a high end. That's kind of what the rumors have been for a while now. Polaris seems to be pointed strictly at the mid-range market and budget market. And then we'll see Vega or Vega, whatever, for the high end later this year. That is slated for 2016, and it is also slated for HBM2, which would be the first card that supports it outside of the uh, P100 Tesla Accelerator card, which is not a gaming card. As far as competition, the 8 gigabyte version of the RX 480 would be directly competing with the GTX 1070, which is 8 gigabytes of GDDR5. We just reviewed it and have the performance metrics online. That card at the low end is priced at $380. So even if the 8 gigabyte RX 480 is 250, which we don't know if it is, uh, that would still be kind of separate markets for the two of them. They wouldn't necessarily directly compete in price. There's a $130 gap. So that's all we have for this Radeon RX 480. We were not given information on other cards just yet. Uh, again, release date, June 29th, price $200, five teraflops, and that pretty much wraps it up for the reference card. The AIB models, the partner models, I don't know if they're gonna be cheaper than $200 or not, but we will certainly try and find out. Uh, so as always, stay tuned for the rest of Computex coverage. You can find the links in the description below for information on this video card. Thank you for watching. Patreon link in the post video. We'll see you all next time.